What's going on everyone? The Aired Lords here. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I know it's been a little while since I did one of these. I uploaded a video the other day where I was yelling about my car. <laughs> uh, I deleted it though because it was just more uh, in the moment dealing with that nonsense. Um, it was just like something misaligned with it. So I was like trying to advise people like don't do this or don't get this type of car. But I was like, well, this is really not the kind of content people are expecting for me to return to making vlogs or doing anything that uh, resembles my usual channel content. So um, it's just <clears throat> the thing for the channel, though, is that there hasn't been a lot of Walking Dead news. Like, I've been scouring for anything from the Rick, the Negan Maggie, the Daryl show. Like, there's just been a a scarcity of 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 stuff and you know i'm tuned into uh you know my friend jeff who's usually really good on the news for the walking dead and uh amc's accounts that i follow i'm following all the actors who are involved in these shows um although i know andrew lincoln doesn't have social media kind of wish he did but oh well um so yeah i mean i did promise you guys that at the top of the year, I would do more content, vlogs, discussions, and that's kind of happened. I, I had a burst of, of videos at the beginning of the year, um, but this was also before I knew what was going to happen with the Rick show. Like, I thought we were getting the Rick Grimes spinoff this fall, and so I thought any videos I make will be the buildup to the rick Grimes show and we can have all sorts of like just like the regular walking dead spring fall season where there's trailers and we're making predictions and we're talking about what's going to happen and there's build up and there's there's like oh my gosh I i'm trying to keep that going but ever since the main show ended it's been it's been difficult the news has just not been has not been there. There hasn't been as much marketing, and at least from what I'm seeing. I mean, maybe this is happening elsewhere, but I'm just, I'm not seeing as much marketing for these new spinoffs as I think we necessarily, like, we should be getting more of this as fans, and we're not, we're not, we're just not. So, um, that's, I guess, one issue, um, with the, the, the consistency of, of vlogs and content on the channel. Um, but there is a title for this video and it is the fact that we have some, um, actors that were announced for, uh, the Daryl Dixon spinoff. So five new actors is on entertainment. Five new actors are saying bonjour to the Walking Dead spinoff series set in France starring Norman Reedus. Uh, so they are, so there's, there's Gannett. Genet, G-E-N-E-T. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna butcher these names so badly. I apologize. Falau, Sylvie, uh, Codrone, and Laurent. Um, so, all French names, I imagine. Um, it looks like these first three. I mean, just just from the actor profiles, I can kind of tell that um, this guy is probably gonna be a villain. And these three are going to be allies of some sort. I mean, I could be completely wrong about that, but that's just my hunch from looking at these. Um, I, let's see, uh, as well as the new actors are, all five actors are French, which makes sense seeing as how the series will be taking there. It's going to be way different. The story's way different. The characters are way different. It's a different tone. Uh, so Daryl Dixon's saying it's different. Uh, we do get this one image of Daryl with this horse uh, drawn carriage here. Um, people are speaking French around me, and part of my story is trying to figure out, is this good or is this bad? Are we about to get into a fight or are we friends? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think Daryl knows fucking French. Um, so, uh, it will be pre premiering later this year, and The Walking Dead wishes ashore in France and struggles to piece together how he got there and why. Um, across a broken, resilient Francis, hoping to find a way back home. He's makes the journey, the connection to form. So, I mean, there hasn't been a lot, you know, and that's what we, I think that's what this article is saying, that we don't really know 
the general premise other than Daryl somehow gets to freaking France and he what's the goal like is he trying to figure something out with the fast walkers because as we know for those of you who watched World Beyond the final scene of World Beyond features the French scientist looking at the tapes from Edwin Jenner from the first season of the show and there's the other guy who shoots her and then she turns into like a fast super fast walker different than the variants from the end of the main show and it's it's spelling out something and it, it, it you can see from the 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 language and the text on the bio like the quarantine zone that it's in France so it's and it's random because it's it, the the bonus scene has nothing to do with world beyond or any of the characters that were in that show any of the kids anyone connected to the CRM the only reason I thought it might be is that that facility was maybe owned by the CRM, but that's not confirmed at all. And so now that we know that Daryl shows in France, people were like, oh, okay, that bonus scene is setting up, like, there's going to be some some connection to that in this show. Um, which is curious, because they could have done a bonus scene for any of the spinoff shows. They could have done one for Rick, which I think a lot of people were expecting, they could have done one for the Negan Maggie show, but they chose to do it for the Daryl show, which again, we don't know like the exact plot or the exact purpose behind Daryl's like role there. Like the Rick and Michonne one is more defined in the sense that Rick has been captured. We don't know what the CRM's plans are. Michonne's trying to rescue him. Um, and then the Negan Maggie show is also, like, the, those are the biggest questions. Like, I think the Rick and Michonne is the only show where it's, like, we know why she goes there. Rick's captured. Negan Maggie, why the hell did they go to New York? Daryl, why the hell does he go to France? We don't know the answers to this. I guess the France one is that Daryl washes up on the shore. Somehow he flew from, you know, Alexandria, Virginia, slash the Commonwealth, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to France. So... I mean, you know, eight years deep, roughly, into this apocalypse that we've been telling the story of The Walking Dead. So, I, I the only, I mean, the CRM is the only group that would be capable of doing that. I, I we've, we, unless there's something other than that. But I mean, you know, you can't just drop all this lore. I mean, it was already annoying enough that the Commonwealth and the CRM didn't know about each other because they're both two super mega groups spread across the United States in different ways. Commonwealth has their train network. Uh, the CRM has their helicopter network with the different refueling stations across the uh, the, the U.S., um, many of which we see in all three shows, World Beyond, Fear, and The Main Walking Dead. Um, and I just, you know, I have always, I've said this a number of times now, um, that it was a huge missed opportunity for them not to cross that over. And I feel like if they had more episodes, eight more episodes to do a full season 12, you could have done that. You could have connected things a little more. So then you could have still had the ending cliffhanger with Rick, like the image we're seeing right now, where we see that he's still in the picture. You could have still done that, but you could have made things more interconnected. Like maybe Lance Hornsby used to be with the CRM and now he's like a diplomatic representative and he's living with the Commonwealth and the fact that Pamela's threatening him, you know, that's where he says that certain alliances might fall apart. Like, you know, designation two, we have no, f the show ended with us not knowing what the fuck that is. And now Ezekiel and Mercer take over leadership of the Commonwealth. Do they know what designation two is? Like, are they going to interrogate Pamela and find out what it is? We just went the whole show without knowing. And like, why dedicate screen time if we weren't going to know? So um, you know, anyway, um, I'm getting off topic, but congrats to those actors, the French actors who are going to be on the show. I figured that I would let you guys know that I'll write out their, their names and their corresponding characters in the description of this video, just to, uh, paint it out for you guys, because a, I'm, I'm saying the names wrong. I know that for a fact. <laughs> and B, um, you know, I just, I want to list it um, in addition to the screen, the mini screen that you guys saw um, that had, uh, had the names. So, um, 
so yeah, brief, I mean, this is kind of like a channel update kind of vlog, but there's also some Walking Dead news. I mean, I saw this pop up on Instagram, like, the, the, the page was like, oh, these five actors are going to be in the Daryl show, and I'm like, okay, well, that's newsworthy, like, let's make a vlog and talk about it, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just scrounging for this type of content, so, you know, the moment I can find more, I will uh, try to make more. Um, but, uh, it is scarce as I started the blog by saying we're in a scarcity period <laughs> for, for content right now. So I'm trying to get more of a surplus. So if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, I certainly will. But in the meantime, um, kind of just slim pickings at the moment. So anyway, short and sweet, just a couple of actors that we're going to be seeing in this, in the new Daryl show. Um, Hopefully, I mean, at some point this year, we got to get clarity on, on the direction of these shows and where we're going. So uh, hopefully we get that clarity and um, we can talk about it. So, all right, guys, thanks. That was it from me. Comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know if there's any other content you want to see.